Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and watching this job video. Today I have created this cool shield effect. Basically, this is wire frame shield effect, and I have also particle per point. In this tutorial, I will teach you everything how to make this from scratch, each and everything from the material to Niagara. So let's start this tutorial. Let's start this. So I have this scene. So we need a sphere that we can use inside the Niagara or we can just use as a, um, uh, as a material on that. So we will use Niagara. So first I will make a material and, and this will be Fresnel. And on a sphere you can use this mesh or if you have a sphere. So if I search a sphere here, static mesh. I have lots of sphere let's say this one I take and if I show you the UVs of this so it also matters how many segments you have so if you see this in wired so if this is log poly so the wireframe will be bigger if this is high poly wireframe will be smaller so first thing what I'll do I'll just use a sphere like this one and I'll just take a Fresnel particle color this will be translucent unlit to sided material and I will just directly use it here and for the opacity I will tweak this Fresnel a little bit like I'll decrease this and maybe I'll take the power and if you want even more control you can make parameters for this let's say I have this parameter for the power I'll just call it as it is power and it will go with the opacity so just multiply it here and that's it we can do a lots of things that we will do definitely but later first I'll just put it inside the Niagara so we can see how it looks so right click make a Niagara system I'll take the empty and this will be an S shield here right click take a minimal emitter I want my particle just uh, spawn once so I'll use self and loop behavior once then there should be one particle so burst it will be one particle it should never die so in this particle state turn this off so life will be infinite then this is sprite so I need a mesh I'll delete this take a mesh I have this sphere I'll just browse this one and I'll just pick this here then we need this material I'll browse this and Override the material and I'll choose this here. We need a dynamic parameter to control this power parameter like this. Then I will decide a color. I'll just use direct color maybe like this. Okay. I'll make this local and just drag it into the viewport. It's very small. So let me make the size little bigger maybe four times bigger. Yeah, that's I think fine for now or maybe six times. Yeah, this is fine. So this is just the Fresnel. And one more thing I will add in this Fresnel. When it's touching the ground, I want intersection edge. So for that, just go to the material. And in the opacity, I'll take the depth fade. Depth fade is basically when your mesh applied material uh, applied on that mesh and is interacting with something it will fade that from that part but we don't want fade so I will invert this and then I will add this on the opacity and it has the fade distance which I will make a parameter I'll just call it edge okay and default value is 1 let it save while saving you can subscribe if you like this video and you can just leave a comment below so nothing is there so i'll go here and we have in the dynamic parameter i'll just put it in the update this edge let's make it 10 so you will see this edge which is 10 units we can increase or decrease this value like this but i think 5 is enough okay looks cool then we need a wireframe on it so for the wireframe two things you can do first you can just take a wireframe texture like let me show you how uh, what i mean is 
basically this thing you can just snapshot this or from the Maya you can export this and use it as a texture like I have let me show you like this one this is not sphere but you but you need this kind of texture this is not this is for shield okay and the second thing you can do actually a wireframe material and how I'll just duplicate this material M wire open this let me save all first so you don't have to do anything just select your main materials type here wire and you will find this wireframe turn this on and depends on your mesh UVs it will give you wireframe so I'll just save it for now browse this and here in my effect I'll duplicate this layer this emitter change the material and now you will notice its wireframe okay you have now separate control on the dynamic parameter although so in this one I will decrease this value so wireframe will be visible more and then you have this cool the next thing you can do is you have this wireframe if you want on these points you want to spawn particle you can do that so what I'll do I'll duplicate this one more time and instead of a, a mesh I'll take the sprite and then in the mesh if you'll see the vertex count it is 559 so take the same count here 559 then let me just decrease the size maybe one then I'll take a static mesh location and then you have to put the sphere here so I'll just browse this one once again and use it here and go down instead of triangle just take the vertex and instead of random just take the direct and it give you this zero which is if you increase this it will switch that position so you have to use execution index so per particle it will take per vertex from the mesh and you will get this kind of effect not visible let me see oh it's a small so basically what happened because we increase the size by six so how to change that go here and you have you have offset this position and you have also offset I think yeah you, you can also do that with this it's a sphere so I'm using offset otherwise you can do uh, you can multiply the position so let me just make this bigger maybe 10 and now increase the offset size maybe 5 offset maybe 240 yeah now you have particle on each point but I guess offset is still a little bit missing it's okay so one more thing you can do if you want exact same thing you can just avoid this after this you can just search position here position oh not local actually where is my parameters these are my parameters I'll just search position here drag this after this node okay and then I will multiply this multiply this and again I'll take the same position here and I'll multiply it with 6 in each direction and it will be exact on the point so now if you want to add anything else you can do that so you have this I'll just make it a little more bright maybe 5 or 50 depends how you want it and maybe size just like that looks cool you can do a lot of thing in this 
but I think that's it. And you can just move this like this. This is a full sphere. So I will not add more things in this. I'll just keep it simple. Let me know if you want anything to add in this one. So maybe in the next tutorial, I'll do that. So thanks for watching. Keep learning. Bye bye.